course, it's flat. The shop that was going to do the mufflers just canceled on us. So we're officially loading up the Ram Charger to put an exhaust system on it. As you can hear, the thing is a beast and we have a lot of neighbors, right? I don't think they really appreciate us cranking this monster on every time we want to move it or every time we want to work on it. So we got the power wagon, got a U-Haul trailer, and as we went to load up the Ram Charger, it is too damn big. So now we're going to grab the tiny stock wheels and tires and we're going to throw them on here to get this thing on the trailer so we can get it to the exhaust shop. So let's go. I forgot how heavy these were. You gotta be kidding me. Of course, of course, it's flat. Of course it's flat. Dad, you got the air compressor? Of course it's all the way down here and the air compressor's all the way up there. But that's okay, we'll get it fixed. All right, so early morning, I I got to just north of Austin and the shop that was going to do the mufflers just canceled on us, but I don't really have a lot of time because I had to get this trailer, which is a rental for one day. Um, I'm already halfway to Austin and I just I don't have time during the week and the next two weekends I'm out. So I'm really trying to get this done sooner than later because I am trying to use this Ram charger by the fall and there's a lot of other work that needs to get done that's predicated on the mufflers and the exhaust system getting done. So I'm really, really in a pickle here and I'm just trying to figure out where to take it. I've already called a couple shops and true to nature, they're all booked up. So I'm gonna keep on looking and hopefully I have some luck. So let's see what happens. After calling numerous shops, I ended up calling my good friend Omar, who you might know as 68 Charger. He recommended a shop called Robert's Exhaust Automotive. So I called Robert and he was able to get us in and get the entire exhaust system done. The only problem was I was about one hour away in the opposite direction. So I hit the road and got to Robert's as fast as I could. All right, we got this bad boy up on the lift. He's getting ready to put some uh, pipes and mufflers on there. So we were discussing where we want the rear exhaust. Now, essentially, we were talking about going old school where it came out 90 degrees just like this, which is pretty much factory. Uh, you can actually kind of see the old hanger right there. We didn't remove it. What we're going to do is actually we want it tucked up. So it's going to tuck up and then come down just like that at an angle. And the reason for that, let me not get this copyright music. Now, the reason I want it tucked up and not exactly at that 90 degree angle is because this fall we are going to Hidden Falls Adventure Park with this truck and the 83 Jeep CJ7. And my worry is because the truck is a little longer in the back end on, at Hidden Falls, some of these ledges and stuff, the back end might hit. And what I don't want is the exhaust to get crushed or snagged and pulled on. So I kind of wanted to be a little hidden. And that's exactly what I did with the Jeep CJ7 by tucking it up in the rear tub and just having two um, exhaust tips coming out the sides. Well, it's gonna take, um, might take the rest of the day, but when we do come back to get it, it'll be nice and quiet, a little throaty, throwing some flow masters on there. Originally, I wanted to go with the Borla. Man, what do I have on the Jeep? I feel like it's a Borla attack, but I can't remember. So, yeah, gonna go with some flow masters. I uh, got a good deal on everything. Super excited. We are in the middle of nowhere. Actually, you can tell that's the main road to the town, and that's the church. See how quiet it is? I could get used to living like this. This is nice. But all right, let me finish. I just saw this chain. Let me put this chain up on the U-Haul and uh, let me get my monkey ass home. All right, so it's been a full day. Dad's with me. And now we're gonna 
pick up the old ram charger. <laughs> it took way longer than it should have. Yeah, that sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> it's, it's, it sounds clean. I like it. So much better but as you can see with it turning off a few times that's why we need the mufflers on there so we could tune the carburetor we could drive it we could get the timing just right all the little things in order to get it ready for the trail so let's go ahead and load this bad boy up and then we'll do some more talking about the future plans with the ram charger all right so this originally was supposed to take just one day i mean maybe two right pick up the trailer Pick up the trailer, get the truck on the trailer, get to the exhaust shop, and then be done with it. But it's actually been taking me, we're on day three now. By the time we got home last night, it was entirely too late. Um, and I was just entirely too tired to swap out these wheels and tires and uh, get this thing looking right where I want it to. So what we're gonna do right now is exactly that. Put on the 35s on the front, get this thing matched up. And then I'm gonna pull it out, give it a quick little test drive, and we'll go from there. So let's get to it. All right, guys, as you can see, we got this bad boy running. It's idling nice and high, actually. I got the idle on a nice high idle because I still need to time it with my actual timing gun. But it's super exciting because this thing's actually running. It's moving under its own power and it's sitting on all 35s now. And it's so quiet and it's nice because I can actually move it around the neighborhood without having to worry about the neighbors, as you can see. But that's over there with the neighbor right now. Um, but let's get this a nice little listen. Yeah. That's nice. As you can see, we got the full 35 spare as well. If you're new to the channel, these 35s are actually on my CJ7, but the 35s were actually too big, and I went down to 33s, and we donated these to the Ram Charger. We put the 33s on the Ram Charger, and they looked too small. So with the 35s on the Ram Charger and 33s on the CJ7, we're the perfect mix. I am gonna talk about some old school things that we've done to the Ram Charger, because I think they're like essential to point out. And one of those things is, this one rear spotlight. It looks like it's gonna be a reverse light, but really it's actually like a spotlight for when you're backing up in your trail riding. It's a super old school thing. You might've noticed we got one in the front as well. This yellow light right here, you can see it on a lot of old school hot rod builds. And we wanted to kind of like bring that back just a little bit. So I found this light off Amazon. It wasn't super expensive, but it's got three modes. It's a running light, a a headlight and a high beam so it's actually a motorcycle headlight but it acts as a fog light it's yellow uh, so it can cut through uh, dust and fog just like you would see like yellow KC lights and stuff like that now the warning PTO takeoff stickers it's actually an homage to my grandfather if you're new to the channel I started this build off talking about how my grandfather had a Ram charger he has since passed away and when we thought about building a new rig we thought why not do a Ram charger and that's how we got here so those stickers are actually an homage to him well let's talk about what the next steps are because there's a lot of work that still needs to be done before this thing is trail ready or even road worthy so let's talk about those things all right so the biggest problem that we were having was of course the exhaust now we have an exhaust on it and it's nice and quiet so we can do things like actually time it and tune the carburetor and drive it up and down uh the roads and the, and the uh, neighborhood without disturbing a lot of the neighbors so that's the first one. The other thing is actually gonna be on the inside, on the interior of the Ram Charger. As you can see, it's uh, kind of a nightmare in here. All right, so let's talk about what's going on in here. Now this Ram Charger came with the plaid seats, as you can see, they've seen better days. The back seat isn't too bad, but all that needs to be reupholstered. I also did remove the headliner and I have it because I wanna use it as a template to put a new one on here. This roof being metal is gonna absorb a ton of heat and in texas that's a no-go this ram charger is also equipped with ac since we're talking about heat we just need to charge it up we got the new lines a new condenser everything's ready to go we just need to charge it up um 
you might notice that the radio is missing, the dash is missing, everything is in here, I promise you. We just had to do things like the speedometer cable. We wanna change the lights um, in here so you can actually see them at night. So that's gonna be one of the next things. And uh, you can see the needle is broken right there. So that's also another little issue. So we're kind of working our way through the entire dash. That cap is actually cracked and broken. If I can find one of those, it would come in super clutch. And we're fixing the window motors because this is the SE Ram charger. It came with power windows and locks. So we want to fix that passenger window motor as well as the driver. They don't work. So one of the things we're diagnosing when we don't want to feel like doing heavy engine work and yeah, that's basically where we're at. We still have all the OE manuals and a bunch of other real neat Ram Charger stuff that came with the truck. We're just putting it back together. Uh, again, like I do have this piece right here that's broken um, and they, a visor, so that's an easy replace. You can see the top has seen better days, but again, we're just trying to get this thing on the road to actually enjoy it. All right guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is actually clean out the inside, take a inventory of all the parts that I currently have. That way I'm not buying stuff double that would be a huge mistake and cleaning out that interior that's vacuuming the carpet wiping down dash parts and getting ready to put that passenger door back together with its new window regulator now the goal is to take this truck and the cj7 to hidden falls adventure park in the fall when it gets a little cooler so we can actually enjoy some trail riding finally so that's the goal if you guys like the progress on the ram charger so far make sure you hit that like button leave a comment below let me know what you want to see on the ram charger if there's anything you want to know about the ram charger and we'll catch you in the next video until next time peace out